Well, hello there. Yumla in Design here with another video from the series called Before and After, where I'll show you render settings for my project. Today we are working with this Japanese style minimalist house and the shot we're looking for is afternoon shot in the autumn or fall. So let's start by creating our base render and a copy of the same thing for our effects. I'm going to select one of the uh, Lumion preset styles, uh, specifically realistic. It will help us uh, choose some of the effects for us. And I will add sun and volumetric sunlight, which I will disable for now so we can see what we're doing. And one more, which is two-point perspective. Just turn it on straight away. Now, before I uh, go ahead and start adjusting the effects, as you can see uh, in my picture, I adjusted the color of the vegetation already. There are two ways to do that. The easy way is to go to Effects, whether in Climate tab, and there is an effect called Autumn Colors. Uh, now, I'm not going to select it, otherwise it will change the colors in my uh, model, which I don't want. But if you do open it up, there is a couple of uh, parameters that you can uh, change. A couple of sliders, you can adjust the hue, saturation and so on on your vegetation. Now, the upside of uh, this effect is very fast and very easy to do. It will change the colors in all your vegetation at the same time. The downside is you basically can only choose uh, one type of vegetation, uh, you change the color and the rest of the vegetation will be adjusted accordingly by the effect or the program if they are on the same layer. So if you want to maintain control over different types of uh, vegetation, you need to place them on a different layers, especially when you're combining uh, conifers or evergreens with the broadleaf vegetation. There is a special slider called layers inside the effect and that will let you adjust all these layers individually. So the second uh, way you can adjust the vegetation in your model is uh, manually. That's the way I did it. You have to go to a build mode, a move mode and you select this button called the context menu. Now you choose or select any uh, vegetation in your model. You go to selection select identical objects and it will select all the same uh, objects in that category. All of these uh, trees are the same. Now in the top right corner you can see the properties of the trees and you can adjust the hue, uh, saturation and the range on all of them at the same time. And then you just uh, simply disable it, move on to another type of vegetation, select that, you go to selection, select identical objects and again it will select all those uh, uh, trees in that category and you do uh, the adjustment in here as well. You can also adjust uh, all these trees individually. You just go to uh, move object, uh, you click that button so you can start adjusting uh, individually and you select a specific tree and start adjusting the, the colors uh, on that tree individually. So you can uh, get a variety uh, in your vegetation uh, this way and you can basically control any tree you want in your model. So let's go back to uh, our effect. We already adjusted the, the two-point perspective. Uh, volumetric sunlight will adjust as last. So let's start with the, with the sun. Let's get our uh, angle in here. I would like the sun to be uh, coming from my left today it's under 45 uh, degree angle uh, so to speak so let's uh, move the heading move it around somewhere around there as we can see by uh, by the shadows and I said we we are looking for some afternoon shots so the Sun is too high for us so let's bring it down a little bit maybe that's a little too much I still want uh, a little bit of uh, Sun in here on uh, around the uh, pool area so I think this looks uh, pretty okay. So we're going to, uh, to sharpening tool, just bring the intensity up a little bit and you are done in here. Exposure always is last, color correction. Now this one is important today. So we're looking for rich warm colors today, which means the temperature will go up a little bit and so will the tint. Somewhere around there, as you can see, we're getting the, the warmer feel of the whole scene. Now, 
to give it a little bit of a richness in, uh, in the colors, you bring the, the vibrance up somewhere around there. I think that looks uh, nice and rich. Uh, brightness just a little bit up and perhaps a little bit of a uh, contrast. Okay, so we're done uh, in here for now. Uh, reflections, let's select all the reflective surfaces that we have today. We have a pool area and the water in the pool in here big glass uh, in front of the house. There is another glass in here in the staircase and on the side of it as well. And I think that is it for the reflections. Turn the speed ray reflections on and we are done in here. Uh, Hyperlight, not much to adjust in here, perhaps a little bit of, uh, of light on the interior. So we bring it up a little bit a skylight we turn on the planar and the projected reflections on and the quality of the render high perhaps a little bit more of the saturation to give it a little more more colors but the house is surrounded by all this all these trees which are uh, nice and warm and it will all bounce onto the house so the whole uh, feel or the atmosphere will be very nice and warm Moving on to shadows, we're going to bring the coloring down somewhere around there, which will give us warmer shadows, which we're looking for. Perhaps the brightness just a little up. And the interior exterior, we're going for exterior. As you can see, it's changing slightly, ever so slightly in the darkest areas. We've done it with the shadows, chromatic aberrations. This is already set uh, by Lumion. We just bring the dispersion up just a little bit to give you that realistic feel in the, in the corners. And depth of field. I'm going to set the distance, our focus distance on the front uh, portion of the house, somewhere around there. Turning it on and bring the amount of blur up and the uh, foreground background slider almost all the way all the way up towards the background, which will make the background blurred and the main portion of the house, including the tree in, the, in here in the front, uh, nice and sharp. So the focus and distance is around 21 meters, as it says in here, and the amount of blur perhaps a little down in here. So we have a detail in the front of the house, a pool area, the tree and the main portion of the house as well. Now let's go back to exposure, perhaps bring it up just a little bit and adjust the uh, volumetric sunlight. Let's bring the brightness almost all the way down. Just barely visible in here in the, in the dark areas and around the pool as you can see the, the light streaming in. That's what we want. We don't want any more of that. That is already too much. This is just a subtle effect of the sun going through the trees and creating the, uh, the volumes of, uh, of light streaking in into our picture. So let's just double check the, uh, the difference. As you can see, this is without. When I enable it, you have a little bit um, of the light uh, coming in from, uh, from our left. When it renders, it's uh, going to be uh, barely visible, but it will give that realistic uh, feel to our picture. So let's go ahead and uh, render our final, final picture. And as usual, guys, thanks for watching. Stay well and stay creative.